approximately 1 million adolescent females suffer from depression. About 90,000 women per year suffer from anorexia. Over 60,000 people are sexually abused each year by people they know. 100,000 people per year must deal with the suicide of someone in their nuclear family. And about 7 million children have parents who are alcoholics. I have experienced all of these things and lived to tell about them in my newly published memoir, Lost and Found. Lost and Found is the true story of my life and as such is very personal to me. It's a story of a little girl who has dealt a bad hand in life and has to grow up overnight before she's ready. She has to deal with her father's alcoholism, emotional neglect, and subsequent suicide. The suicide of her uncle three months later and the death of her beloved grandmother sexual abuse by her mother's boyfriend son, and then the abandonment by that soon-to-be stepfather. As she reaches adolescence, this girl then turns to her own rebellious behaviors as a way to cope with the pain, the guilt, and the remorse that consume her in the form of her own substance abuse, anorexia, sexual promiscuity, and general self-degradation. Fortunately, her story, and my story, has a happy ending. See, Lost and Found is also a story of overcoming the odds surviving childhood and adolescent traumas that threaten to derail one's emotional and physical development. It's a story of resiliency and a story about the search to find one's true self. My memoir shows how I managed to work through my troubled past and finally discover true happiness. People always ask me, why did you write this book? How could you expose yourself in your life like this? And my answer has two parts. First, as a voracious reader, I've read a lot of memoirs, true stories that touched me deeply. But after re reading each one, I'd reflect back on my own life and think, you know, my life is just as interesting as theirs. I've always felt I had a powerful story to share. And second, I've had a passion for writing my entire life. Writing for me is like painting for an artist. It's my vehicle for expression and for working through my own feelings. So I knew I had to put down on paper my story and convey to the world the tale of my life and the important messages I felt I had to relay. I thought perhaps others could learn through my grief and my story, and in the process could be spared some of the pain I experienced. One of the number one questions I get asked when I talk about my life is what positive messages could possibly be taken away from my story of angst and hardship. And well, I believe that the overriding message of Lost and Found is that no matter what life throws your way, it's always within your power and within your control to bounce back. Everyone has the choice to step back from the edge of the cliff during difficult times and just walk away. Other people can drive you there, but it's ultimately within your power to decide whether to jump off or not. The other message I think comes through in my book is the importance of loving yourself and not defining your own self-worth through the eyes of others. As women, we have the tendency to give ourselves away, to lose ourselves in other people. And I think my book shows pretty clearly how trying to constantly please someone else constantly trying to change yourself into the person you think they want you to be ends up backfiring like 99% of the time. I honestly believe that Lost and Found can really help people, especially mothers of teenage girls and those teenage daughters themselves, and open up lines of communication between them. Mothers can learn a bit about what their teens are likely going through, and teenage girls, when they read my book, can hopefully realize they're not alone in their feelings and their experiences. I like to say that my story is universally appealing and statistically unique. Everyone can relate to something in it, but very few, fortunately, have been through the sheer number of traumas that I have. But I feel if I can touch even just one person with my story, then the traumatic life I led was all worth it.